Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. I am having a great day thanks to you all on your reaction from the latest video and I hope you're having a great day too. Today we're going to do a makeup transformation inspired by Game of Thrones. Since you guys want to see more effects videos lately, but today we are going to do a makeup of Sir Gregor Clegane Bull. I absolutely fell in love with this makeup, The Mountain, as he's so called nickname. So today we're going to do that. Let's get started. So I'm gonna put my hair back. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. I'm gonna have to put a bald cap on. The least favorite thing for most makeup artists to do on themselves, including myself. And no, I am not naked. I do have a strapless top on so that we could body paint his suit of armor or some sort of outfit. Don't wanna be naked. I'm just gonna be doing a low braid ponytail situation. All right, I'm gonna need some hairspray. Definitely, definitely she's gonna need hairspray. <laughs> My hair has like a million zillion flyaways. I don't know what hairspray this is, white sands. It smells so good. I know nothing about hair though, so I don't know if it works well. All right, let's put this bald cap situation on that I've been avoiding because I hate bald caps. This one is BGE, it's a thin medium. I only love to use plastic bald caps because they dissolve into the skin. You can use more product with it, variations of product with it. I feel like the girls at the makeup effects store don't know what I, I'm doing. They don't think I know what I'm doing. Oh, I have to cut around the ears. Mm, least favorite thing to do. Okay, let's fill this baldness fantasy by adhering this bald cap to my actual head. So nervous. I just, if you ever done bald caps on yourself, it ain't easy and it's nerve wracking. Just getting some pros aid. If you don't know about the shot glasses, the plastic shot glasses for your pros aid. Wow, that's cracked. These ones are from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. For your pros aid, your liquid latexes, you need to know about the plastic shot glasses. When I was first starting to make up, I took them from my parents' liquor cabinet and they got upset, but I was like, Psh. I'm filming YouTube videos. And I'm like, why don't you understand that? <laughs> I like using the disposable sponges instead of a Q-tip for my forehead because I've got not just a forehead. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm in the five head region. Ooh, I forgot to cut the bald cap, yay. I'll do that after I adhere just the front part. Just try not to glue your hair to your scalp. Cause I've done that, it's not fun when I first started makeup. You want a cuticle scissor, and again, don't cut your ear or your hair, and you're going to do this to get your ear poking through. I hope this side comes out just as good. Sis, what, there's so much, how is this hair getting here? I feel like a hobbit trying to cover his hairy feet. I swear, I don't even have a lot of hair, so imagine someone who had a lot of hair. When I was in makeup school, my best friend, I always partnered with her because I only have two friends in my life and I only stay friends with them. <laughs> no, because everyone else in makeup class, everyone had a lot of hair in my makeup class and my best friend had the most hair. And it was like a science fair project. Chelsea, if you're watching this to do your hair in a ball cap, I miss those days, but your hair was difficult, sis. Still not cut enough. We need more material cuts away. Alrighty then. Now that we're looking like a cone head, it's time to adhere the rest of this with more prosade. I hate prosade, honestly. If I could afford like a gallon size version of Telesis, I'm allergic to Telesis just on my neck, but I would even suffer through that from prosade because it's so dangerous. If you get this in your hair, I've gotten it on my carpet before. Can't wait to tell my landlord about that. All right, once you have your bald cap adhered, I'm gonna get some acetone with a Q-tip and I am going to dissolve my edges and any parts where it's lifting a little bit like there, I'm gonna get some liquid latex and I'm gonna get a red stipple sponge and I'm going to stipple on some latex onto those edges. Make sure that you don't get this liquid latex in your brow hairs. That sound, welcome to Kat's ASMR channel where we stipple with tiny little sponges on her head. Fake skin. This is gonna mimic the skin texture so my bald cap isn't completely like smooth plastic compared to my skin. All right, now that we have enough stipple, let's dry it. Well, that's drying even more. 
I'm gonna need a glue stick and some powder to start flattening down my eyebrows because the mountain at this stage doesn't seem to have any brows. Let's just see how many more layers it's gonna take for me to delete my eyebrows, which isn't hard, thank goodness, because I didn't get thick brow Asian jeans. I feel like Asian brows are actually the easiest to flatten down because they're so smooth, the brow hairs, and they're thick hairs. And sometimes there's a lot of them and sometimes there's not. I remember my teacher at my makeup school, I feel like he didn't like me that much. He was kind of shady to me. And he's like, I didn't know you were Asian until I looked at your brows. <laughs> what kind of comment is that? All right, now that I did about three layers of glue and powder on my eyebrows to make sure they're nice and flat and smooth, I am going to get some third degree to do the effects of the broken skin that's like cracking on the side of the mountain's face. If you can't afford third degree because it's super pricey, you get equal parts of A and B and mix them. You could definitely use some gelatin. Just make sure it's not too scorching hot before you put it on your face because you have to make sure gelatin is melted to like a gooey consistency. So again, I just get equal parts A and then I get equal, make sure it's really close tight, equal parts B. Mix those two products together on a palette. And then you really wanna look at your reference pictures to do the open cut like marks. Use your fingers and smooth the edges on your skin. Very tricky to use this sometimes. You just have to have patience with it and really try to mimic your reference picture. If you're really worried about those edges, you can get some alcohol on a brush and really smooth some of it down. Just don't get the alcohol in your eye. When using third degree, it's better to get not enough instead of too much because you can always go back for some more. Just make sure your palette knife is clean or your spatula, I should say. Get equal parts again of A and B and mix it because you do not want to waste this. It's super expensive. You also want to make sure their air is shut tight because if air gets to it, they could solidify. Mix the two. You have to work kind of fast with this before it really goes solid on you. And I'm gonna do the open wound on his forehead up here. The more texture, the better for this character. I'm gonna do some chunks by my ear and chunks right in there. All right, now we're gonna get that to dry. And what we want is kind of like lava rocks where there's chunks, but then it smooths down into the skin and we have some with the spatula mark, we did some nice clean edges. The hair dryer going upwards with the air really helps so that it doesn't look too drippy. Again, we want it to look like chunks of skin and not drips. All right, so now that this is all dried to the touch, we are gonna make our foundation and we're gonna mix to a little concoction. I'm gonna take some of the cream and gray from my Midnight Death Wheel palette. So I made this weird like cream concrete, I wanna call it. And we're just gonna slather that baby on. Yes. Get my booty blender. We're just gonna get that into the face. Wanna make sure you get all of it, girl. Even the lips. I feel like I look like a statue. That's what you want. Now, I just wanna get a duo fiber brush with the same cream color that we've been using all over our face. And we're gonna get inside the cracks, crevices, ear, right your nose, and especially on this. Now I see how you can see some of the line of my bald cap. We don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the cream color from that same Bidnight Death Wheel palette and do the highlight marks on his face where his brows are protruding, areas like that. We could even get a nice, you know, round tip brush to really get those highlight marks. And you could use the baby tiny beauty sponge to really blend it out into those edges make it ombre fade into the gray. It's almost like doing an old age makeup, but with deathly colors of creams. And we're gonna go down the center, kind of like a puzzle. And you wanna do the high tips of his nose. I mixed a little bit of this lighter cream in there as well. It's like a more yellow tone. I wonder if they use this on the actual model on the show because this, these colors look very similar. And he has these bags under his eyes and on his chin. We're gonna put some like gross, dirty looking zombie blood coming out of his mouth, but. So some of this chin's gonna be covered, but you still wanna do highlight layers, you know? And we're gonna do it on some of those little pieces that we did of the third degree to raise and make it 3D. It's kind of like deteriorating flesh on the edges. 
literally when I put that third degree on at first, it literally looked like I spent hours just putting bird poop on my face. Hi, welcome to Cat Sketch Tutorial. You're gonna scrape off some bird poop outside your house. Put it on your face. Kidding. We won't do that. All right, now that we have that, I'm gonna take some of that cream of the color because I've made so much of it. I'm gonna get the maroon color from that Midnight Death Will palette and I'm gonna get it some of this lavender purple cream paint I have and mix all that together to make it look like this bruisey weird contour he has around his eyes. This is the color you want for the mountain. It was a lot of mixing guys, a lot. You want it to look like a Tim Burton character who hasn't slept in many years. That's what he reminds me of. I'm gonna mix some of the darker maroon brown in there too and the, to deepen this part socket of the eye and some of that contour. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. It very much looks like some of my favorite 90s colored lipstick, this contour color that I made. Reminds me of the 1993 Urban Decay lipstick I used to love. That 90s vibe, grunge girl. All right, now that we look like a rotting corpse, kind of, I am going to get some powder to set all this. Just make sure you don't have any creasing because if you have creasing, it's going to set, okay? Tried and true RCMA with the powder brush that's like super fluffy. This is a real technique. So just going to set that lightly. And once you have powder on, you shouldn't put more creams because it might get cakey and like lift and get weird. But what you can use is alcohol paint if you have more detail to do, which I might do, depending on how this fake chunky blood stuff I'm gonna have goes. Y'all, this video may look easy. <laughs> I'm over three hours into this makeup right now. Speaking of alcohol paints, that's what I'm getting now. Ardeal and Lead, this gray and, well you can't see that, well, gray and burgundy color, especially in like these contours on his forehead and around his eye. Just don't get this in your eye, okay? If you don't have this, you can just get more creams and paints. But layering this on top of other paints just like makes a makeup. If you have patience. You really wanna do the sockets. Now I'm just gonna get um, the colors again, but with an orange stipple sponge to really get in it, these. The contours are on his head. Now that we're done with that part, I am going to get some coagulated aged blood. What that is, is a aged, darkened blood. It's brown, almost like a poo green, like duck pond color. You know when duck pond's like disgusting? That's what it reminds me of. And to scoop that out, this one is by Thomas Serpent, Serpentant, so neat. Makeup effects blood kit. To get that out of there, I'm gonna use some Q-tips because to get blood off of your brushes, <laughs> good luck. Get more zombified chunk blood. Gotta get some chunk blood in your ear, why not? Gotta get some chunk blood in your mouth too, unfortunately, and in your nose. Oh, this smells weird. Gotta put it in your brain parts up here that are falling out of your head. Doesn't feel good. Ooh, child, we are not uh, done yet. So what we have here, I'm looking at his outfit. We have some red here and gold. So I'm gonna get some red off the paint and paint his little neck bandana. And then we're gonna get some gold. This is the Graftobian Cosmetic Powder Metals in Gold. They're super amazing, but super <laughs> messy. So I get a little glass cup. I put said powder and cup. Really make sure this is tight, it goes everywhere. We get the Graftobian Professional Magic Set Mixing Lining Liquid. I pour it in here just to make sure I don't get too much, hopefully. And then I get something to mix it with. Mix, 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 mix. You want it to look like if Willy Wonka's golden ticket was liquefied. And then what you end up with, oh, look at that, shining, shining. Then I got these little sponges that I just got from Jones Craft Store and I made them into, they're like the padding for cushions kind of, and I made them into sponges and I dip that in there. It's like a disposable makeup sponge. Oh, you just want to make that gilded uh, outfit. Shining, 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 shining. Oh yeah, that's, that's the ticket. Gonna be hard to wash off. I hope my boyfriend hugs me after this. Oh yeah. This is amazing. All right, now that that's sufficient, we are going to get some black eyeshadow and do all those lovely details. I'm using the Ofra Pro Palette just for this black. 
to get all these details done on his outfit. Well, Mr. Mountain, you got you got a real swell outfit until I have to actually draw it on, and it's like, whew, you gotta do these crossed little swords and the gold's transferring into my palette. So watch out, kids. I'm gonna get a tiny blender brush to really do some shadow and depth. I'm just gonna get a powder puff and go like this. Getting some black aqua paint with a fan brush, yeah. And going to do light layers. I'm just getting some black cream paint now to do the detail because the eyeshadow was just not working for me since. I'm just doing his little details on the tops too. He has like these little hole latch things. Gotta do these swords. Are my eyes bloodshot red enough so that I don't have to put any coloring in my eyes? <laughs> From all these darn allergies. Five years later, I'm still doing this. All right, now we gotta do bloody eyes, but I have to take my contact out for it, which sucks, so I won't be able to see. All I'm gonna see is red. Well, you can only use this for one month. I'm scared, I never use this. Ooh, it looks like corn syrup with red glue. Ooh, I hate it. Things I do for YouTube, I can't see anything. This is the final look of me turning into the mountain. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Leave a comment down below on what other video ideas you would love to see on this channel. I still had a ton of fun doing this even though it took me five hours. Crazy. Well worth it. I hope Game of Thrones fans love it. Now let's take this off. I'm so ready. Like this video if you want to see more effects videos every week and I do beauty videos the other days of the week. I hope you guys have been loving this channel lately. I've been working really, really hard. Uh. Subscribe for more videos like this and others. I hate those blood <laughs> drops. They don't really work, they just come out of your eye. Was thinking of doing a video next of like life hacks from influencers, because I know all the hacks that the influencers use. Ooh, and I really want to do a video trying like crazy makeup hacks I see online that I don't think will work, but I really want to try them. What did you guys think of the finale of Game of Thrones? Would love to know. I hope that this gold will be able to come off. Yay! Is it coming off? Yay! I'm so excited about this video. Watch the whole thing didn't record. That's my greatest fear. <laughs> Not recording the video if I forgot to press that button. Was the five hours worth it? I love the smell of these. These are awesome. This is the Clean AF Hatchology makeup wipes. Oh, I still have third degree stuck here. Right on my baby hair. At least it wasn't a prosade. Well, it's time for me to take a shower. All this rest of this gold. And I will see you guys in the next video. Big hug, see you then, love you all, bye!